No. Oh. Hey! Hi! Uh, welcome to Washington Wine Girl in the one of the warmest weeks in Seattle in a, well, a while. So, because it's like, you know, almost 90 degrees, and it's almost 90 degrees in my apartment, even with my fan going, I apologize for the background noise, but if that wasn't on, none of this would be happening. Anyway, today, I'm drinking kind of a special wine, but is it's not very expensive, turns out. I thought it was more, and it was in my special wine fridge, but it's just been hanging out there. Anyway, uh, it's the Vapiano, Vapiano Sauvignon Blanc from Columbia Valley, 2015. So it's a slightly older Sauvignon Blanc, and it's 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 phenomenal. If there was a pedestal of Sauvignon Blanc, this would be like on it um is it the it's 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 just it's just good it's just so good and it's a hot day and this is cool crisp and refreshing like Sauvignon Blancs always are because that's their nature um and hold on mm -hmm. again it's super warm in here I'm just dying and I have a shirt on just for this video anyway moving on so Let's learn a little bit about Sauvignon Blanc, shall we? Um, so, this grape, the grape when it like was a brand new baby grape, it started in France, in the Bordeaux region, and it also moved to the Loire. I had to look that one. Loire? Loire. Loire. Um, Loire Valley. L-O-I-R-E, -I, 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 I think. I don't do French. I don't do I well, I don't do French. Let's just go with that. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm a dork. Um, anyway, so that's where the grape started, and then it kind of just like you know moved around the world because of trades and travels and all that things. And um, so this grape can be either like super, you know. It depends on where it's grown and how it's grown, how it's going to taste. So some can be very grassy and very that, and some can be very sweet. This one, excuse me, has um, pear and honeysuckle, a little grapefruit on the nose, and that, you know, depending on where the grape is grown, this Sauvignon Blanc can taste different, which I think is kind of fa fascinating. So if you got a Sauvignon Blanc from like, let's say California or from Chile or from New Zealand, they're all going to taste different. Are they going to be different bad? No, they're just going to be different. Take them as they are because, you know, a great white wine is still a great white wine. It doesn't matter where it comes from. Although I'm still obviously partial to the Washington ones because, hey, hey that's the whole channel. <laughs> that's, how the, that's how this thing works. Anyway, so why am I drinking this wine? Oh, which, by the way, you can get around for about 15 to 16 ish dollars if you can find this in stores. Um, so hold on. Still, like I said, warm. Oh my gosh, that's so phenomenal. And it's great if it's super chilled, if it's great as it warms up, too. And the flavors change just slightly when um, the wine kind of warms up in the glass. Um, eventually I'll get this bottle back in the fridge so it can hang out there while I kind of drink my wine. Anyway, so why am I drinking this C Columbia Valley wine today? Well, Washington Wine Girl is going on the road. I'm going to Oregon, I know. Oregon, the other wine region. And I'll probably do a couple videos when I'm on the road, you know. I could branch out. I could become Oregon Wine Girl. No, I'm not going to become Oregon Wine Girl because... Psh, no. <laughs> but I can't wait to explore that wine region just because it's ginormous. There's 400, 500 wineries all within this cramped little space. Looking at the maps of Oregon wine country it's mind-blowing so i bought this wine on my wine walla walla wine trip 
and had an amazing experience at the Vapiano Vineyard, and it was a beautiful, 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 beautiful place. And so I was like, you know what? I'm drinking this one tonight um, as I am like two, three days from leaving for my Oregon trip. And I was like, you know what? What a better time to drink one of my last bottles from that trip than before my next trip because I, I also need to make room for all the wine that I'm going to buy. And uh, I, everyone should just now weep for my credit card because it's going to get a workout. Anyway, uh, again, Vapiano Winery, super, super yummy out of Walla Walla. Um, if you get a chance to visit w Walla Walla, definitely check these guys out. It is well, well worth the visit. Uh, they were a little bit outside the city, but it's it's a gorgeous winery. It's a gorgeous tasting room. Um, super great people there, and their wines are phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. So um, that's it. Um, that's gonna be it for like a while. Um, I'm on a adventure for the next ish. I think I don't know when I'm leaving. Anyway. That's wrapping things up. Um, I won't get to post any videos from the road. My phone's been weird with trying to post videos, so I'll do what I can. Anyway, uh, thank you to all my new subscribers. If you want to keep up to date with what I am drinking. Um, oh, by the way, I'm down 30 pounds. Still drinking wine. I got this. I got this. Anyway, thank you to all my new subscribers. Subscribe if you want to keep up to date with what I'm drinking. And that's it. Bye.